I wonder what would happen if our creator found what we are doing now. Where is the gruesome and horrifying monster that would devour us if I touched this metallic tree of secret truth? It might have been an empty threat just to see if we have obeyed the commandment. Oh, no. So far as my story. That gruesome monster was following me with that golden spaceship. You saved me just about when that monster was trying to eat me. Thank you. By the way, what is the name of my savior? And what is her name? And what about your story? I am Intelli, the head of this spaceship. And we are in the Alter Space Atlas. We are in the adventure of searching for the secret of the creation of the universe. Hi, I am Intella, and I am the advisor and the assistant head of the Ultra Space Atlas. I am the sister of my brother Intelli. Oh, it is my pleasure to see you. You have very wonderful names, Intelli and Intella. You are a very lovely brother and sister. I wish I had a brother and a sister like you. Pandora, it is somewhat hard to believe what happened in there in your Eden Garden on that asteroid and the flying saucer and the mysterious creator entity story. I want to go there to see. Do you mind if we go there to see that Eden Garden on the asteroid and possibly your mysterious creator entity? No, I don't mind. I would love to go there to see again with my powerful friends like you along with this fantastic Ultra Space Atlas spaceship. Okay, let's go for our new space adventure to the mysterious Eden Garden on the asteroid in the deep space. Where are all of my gardeners? I heard your voice in the garden, and I was scared of the gruesome monster that came from the ground, so I hid myself to save myself. What happened here? Did you touch the metallic tree of the secret truth which I commanded you not to touch from? I did not touch the metallic tree of the secret truth, but the woman whom you gave to be with me, she touched the metallic tree of the secret truth. And then the horrifying monster came from the ground, and the monster devoured two people. And one woman escaped from here with the golden spaceship. The scary monster followed that golden spaceship along with her. I am the only one left here, and I have obeyed you, my creator. Okay, okay. you are you the are only the faithful and loyal servant. servant. Everyone, Everyone else disobeyed, else disobeyed, me, while disobeyed me while you are the only one, one who kept who my commandment. My commandment. I will, I will restore, restore this, this Eden garden. garden. I will, I will give, you give you four women, women and I will I make will you the master of them. Their, Their desire will be for you and you will rule over them. And you are to dress and keep this Eden garden until I return.
you were created to be the servant of your man from the bones of your previous life in the Eden Garden. Your desire will be for your man, and he will rule over all of you. The man shall be your master. You are reincarnated as four women instead of one in the same likeness of the previous woman who has disobeyed me. Disobedient is called sin. All of you shall serve your master until your previous woman's sin is fully paid off. Each of the women will be considered as one quarter of the previous woman. Previous woman's sin will be paid off when all four reincarnated women serve the master till death. If you try to terminate your life without any good reason then I will resurrect you again and again from your death until her sin is fully paid off. I am your creator. I am the holy creator of the universe. May I have a question, my creator? You may have a question. What is it? What is your name? And what is my name? And what are these women's names? And why are you doing this to us? That is more than one question, you the dust of the ground. You may keep calling me the creator. Your name shall be Adam. Your name Adam is from your ancient Hebrew mythology. Since you have learned the secret truth from the metallic tree of that stupid primitive conceptual spacecraft, I will tell you more of secret truth for your curiosity, you the silly dust of the ground. I have enjoyed reading your ancestors' ancient Hebrew creation mythology. I was attracted by your earthly cultures and history. Mankind has developed many various cultures and invented many interesting mythologies and religious fantasies and irreligious stories. They are so fun and exciting that I decided to play one of the ancient god of your various ancient mythologies. I am like one of your ancient mythological creator who can create a planet and life form and civilization. Even though I am not the original creator of your planet earth and life form and civilization on it I could have done it too. I have done it numerous times in this universe already. I had some compassion when I saw four of you silly humans trying to colonize on this puny asteroid because this asteroid was used for a burial ground for some failed ugly gruesome creatures I created. The four silly humans were about to build a space station on this grave asteroid and to dig out that gruesome creature of mine that I buried inside this asteroid. The horrible monstrous creature was about to come out from this asteroid to consume all of the four silly humans. So I came to rescue all four silly four humans and abducted him and cleansed him deep down to the bones to believe their memory and then rebuilt him from their skeletons and refreshed and reprogrammed him as I always do when I create a new planet and a new life form on it. Then I pushed and hid and buried that monstrous creature under that old golden spacecraft in the ground. Then I wanted to test that if the four newly reincarnated humans including you and the other three humans rebuilt from the old skeletons would be better than my own creatures on many other planets in the similar way the creator in the ancient Hebrew Genesis mythology tested. I used the metallic tree portion of that old spacecraft as the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and connected it to the monstrous creature buried under the spacecraft so that the monster creature can talk to the humans. Also I programmed a nightmare of the four chasing scary skeletons in the brains of the four people all just attempting to touch the metallic tree of the old spacecraft. I programmed the old spacecraft to dig out itself and to unleash the monster creature when anyone touches that metallic tree. What fun it was to watch how you curious humans acted. I can understand why the loving creator in the ancient Hebrew Genesis mythology tried to destroy all of his own creatures and mankind which have his own image and likeness. Because that creator saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Creator was sorry that he had made man on the earth and that grieved him in his heart. Creator said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the surface of the ground, man along with animals, creeping things, and birds of the sky, for I am sorry that I have made him. But that means to me that his creatures are like the Creator. 
I feel sorry for the original mankind's creator when I observed the similar behavior of those four humans recently. Two of them had already paid price for the sin with being eaten by the monstrous creature, and one female ran away for her life in that silly old spacecraft along with the monster creature and that means the monster creature probably ate that silly woman by now. And one is standing here asking me a question with multiple questions. For some reason I like this male human for now so I created four additional female humans as the helpers and servants for Adam. By the way, her name shall be Yesha, and her name shall be Risha, and her name shall be Grisha, and her name shall be Brisha. Are you happy now, Adam, the dust of the ground? My name shall be Yesha. My holy loving creator gave me this wonderful name. What a beautiful name. I shall love my creator with all my heart, and with all my soul, and with all my might. My name shall be Grisha. My holy loving creator gave me this wonderful name. What a beautiful name. I shall love my creator with all my heart, and with all my soul, and with all my might. My name shall be Risha. My holy loving creator gave me this wonderful name. What a beautiful name. I shall love my creator with all my heart, and with all my soul, and with all my might. My name shall be Brisha. My holy loving creator gave me this wonderful name. What a beautiful name. I shall love my creator with all my heart, and with all my soul, and with all my might. I will give thanks to the creator with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, you most high. The creator is my rock, and my fortress, and my deliverer. My creator, my rock, in whom I will take refuge. My shield, and the horn of my salvation, my high tower. I will call on creator who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. The cords of death surrounded me. The floods of ungodliness made me afraid. The cords of death were round about me. The snares of death came on me. The Creator delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They came on me in the day of my calamity, but Creator was my support. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Creator has rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, has he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of Creator, and have not wickedly departed from my Creator. For all his ordinances were before me. I didn't put away his statutes from me. I was also blameless with him. I kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore has Creator recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight. With the merciful, you will show yourself merciful. With the perfect man, you will show yourself perfect. The Creator lives, and blessed be my rock. Exalted be the Creator of my salvation, even the Creator who executes vengeance for me and subdues peoples under me. He rescues me from my enemies. Yes, you lift me up above those who rise up against me. You deliver me from the violent man. Therefore I will give thanks to Creator among the nations and will sing praises to your name. He gives great deliverance to his people and shows loving kindness to his anointed forevermore. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, Creator, my rock and my redeemer. Be exalted, Creator, in your strength, so we will sing and praise your power. These creatures may be pretending hypocrites as their ancient mythology mentioned. These creatures draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart may be far from me. In vain do they might worship me. These creatures draw near to me, and with their mouth and with their lips seem to honor me, but may have removed their heart far from me, and their fear of me is a commandment in my power. For with their mouth, they seem to show much love, but their heart seems to go after the game.
I am not sure if I can trust these creatures. These creatures may be all hypocritical and cunning and sly and sneaky and deceptive. How could their original creator trust these creatures? I can understand why their mythological creator was sorry that he had made these creatures on the earth. No wonder why the original creator wanted to destroy these creatures in that mythology. Anyways, it is becoming more fun now. I will watch how these would go. I will continue to pretend to be their merciful loving creator as well. I may want to destroy all these creatures anytime if I regret playing as the new creator. Adam, this is the blood of life for me. You shall drink this blood of life from me if love your Creator with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your might. You will become like me if you drink of it. I will live in you and you will live in me. I will be in you and you'll be in me if you drink this blood of life from me. My Creator, if it is possible, let this cup pass away from me. Nevertheless, not what I want, but what you want. Whoever drinks from this cup of my blood of life will become like me, and I myself shall become that person, and the hidden things will be revealed to him. My Creator, if this cup can't pass away from me, unless I drink it, your will be done. That is the Space Eden Garden. There are some people down there. I thought they were all dead. By the way, who are they? They are all new people. And there is a big strange building structure on it. What would it be? What happened there? 